Math 1314, Tyler Jr. College, section 3.1, quadratic functions. Application, maximizing profit. Yeah, that's an application a lot of business owners could appreciate. For example, at a local deli, the, week, the weekly cost to make X sandwiches is a function, C of X, or cost, is 0 0.55 plus 525. Before we go any further into the question, I want to briefly explain where this function would come from. For those of you who are going to take a business math class, you'll, you'll discuss this in a lot greater detail. But this cost function represents two things, co a fixed cost and variable cost. This plus 525 means that the deli spends $525 a week, period, for, regardless of the number of sandwiches they make, possibly for rent, for supplies, etc., etc. The 0 0.55 in front of the X, the slope if you will, represents what's called a variable cost. For each sandwich they make, their cost goes up by 0 0.55 or 55 cents. So it costs them 55 cents for each sandwich they make. Now that probably accounts for things like labor and for the ingredients to make the sandwich. So 55 cents per sandwich plus the 525 up front. This could also be things like, this could be things like rent, uh, upkeep of, of, of equipment and things like that. The weekly revenue is R of X equals X times 3 minus 0 0.001X. Uh, in business, revenue is the money that you bring in. That's not your profit. Profit is how much you bring in minus how much you spent to get it. Um, normally, revenue would just be how much you bring in is the cost per sandwich times the number of sandwiches you sell. But what the subtraction problem represents is the supply-demand issue. The more sandwiches you sell, let me make sure I say this correctly, the higher the demand, you know what, I'm just going to abandon this because, uh, not the problem, but the explanation of this, it has to do with that the more sandwiches you sell, the cheaper you can sell them for. So for every time I sell, if the demand for a certain amount of sandwich is high enough, I can lower the price which actually sounds backwards to me, but I'm not an economist. But regardless, this is the function for the revenue, how much money you would bring in if you sold X sandwiches. Find the number of sandwiches that maximizes their weekly profit. And as I've already mentioned, profit is revenue minus cost. So how would you begin a problem like this? Well, the first thing you would have to do is figure out the profit function. So we'll call it P of X. But profit is just revenue, how much money you bring in minus the cost, how much money you spend to bring that money in. The revenue, if we distribute the x, is 3x minus 0.001x squared minus the cost function. But since the cost function is a binomial, we need to put it in parentheses before we subtract it. So minus 0.55x plus 525. So let's do two things. Distribute this minus across the second function and combine like terms. This is our only quadratic term, so negative 0.001x squared. We will have two x terms. We have the 3x here from distributing across the revenue function, and we have a minus 0.55x. So think of it as $3 per sandwich that we bring in minus 55% cents per sandwich that we spend to make the sandwich. $3 minus 55 cents is positive $2.45, so plus 2.45x. And the only constant term is the one we get when we distribute the negative here, negative 525. So here's our profit function. The function that says, tell me how many sandwiches we're gonna sell in a week, and this is what our profit's going to be. But the question wasn't what's the profit function, the question was, What's the number of sandwiches that maximizes the profit? Well, this is a parabola that opens downward. Parabola opens downward. So if this were on a graph, then x would be the number of sandwiches and p of x would be the profit. The maximum profit is represented at the vertex. So if we can find the x-coordinate of the vertex, we can answer the question. How many sandwiches do they need to make? So the answer is x equals negative b over 2a. The B in this problem is 2.45, so negative 2.45. The A in this problem is negative 
So if I double that, I get negative 0 0.002. And if I do the math, I should get 1,225. That's not right. Yeah, it is. Let me double check. Yes, 1,225 sandwiches. That number of sandwiches would give them the higher profit. If they sold more, then they would be selling them for less and spending a little bit more. If they sold less, they would be selling them for a higher cost but spending less. But spending more, I said that backwards. Okay, I'm gonna stop trying to interpret why this would be the maximum on the fly because obviously I'm crashing and burning. But this would be the number of sandwiches that they, they could sell in a week to maximize their profit. Now, a follow-up question, which I didn't write on the board, but I think it's reasonable to ask is, okay, this is how many sandwiches we would need to sell to maximize our profit. What would that maximum profit be? That would be easy to figure out at this point because we have a function that says, give me the number of sandwiches and I'll tell you which profit is. And if we substitute 1,225 into the function, we would get $975.63. That's not a lot of weekly profit, unless you're running the store by yourself. I guess one thing I should admit now that we've done the problem is when I borrow this problem from the reference source that I'm using, it was only talking about one particular kind of sandwich, not all of their sandwiches. So hopefully they have other sandwiches and make more than that a week. All right, but anyway, the point I wanted to make was if you have a function that represents something like profit, then the vertex hopefully would represent a maximum, not a minimum. And the vertex will tell you uh, under what conditions you can maximize your profit, in this case making 1,225 sandwiches or selling, and what that maximum profit would be.